Okay, fine. All right then. So I told you we will start with new lesson. Okay, we will start with new lesson. That is called as algebra 1.3, page number 17. I'm sure that everyone has taken your books. Please turn to page number 17. Okay. 70 or 17? One seven, not 17. 17. 17. Okay, I opened it. Okay, and then I told you, you need to learn today about three properties. So remember, you will read, study about C, C, A, I. And these properties, you need to solve problems with these operations. With these properties or operation, you need to solve the questions here. Now listen to her, what she's saying. Properties. Essential question. How can you use properties of operations to solve problems? You can use the properties of operations to help you evaluate numerical expressions more easily. Now, girls, we can see the numerical expressions. You know what are numerals? Numerals means these are the numbers. So you can easily place numbers by using these operations. Now, girls, I know to read this, this, these properties are not that easy, but once you practice them saying again and again, you will definitely do it. The first one is commutative property. Please, everyone, can you repeat with me? Commutative property. Yes, I know. Commutative property. It's not commutative. 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 Communicative property. Communicative property. Lala, it's not communicate. It is commutative. No need. Communicative. No N-I. Eh, Habibi, no N-I. It's only commute and then tative. Commutative. 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 Excellent. So, commutative. You know, we'll remember today that what? You, you, you all usually know the spelling of cat is C-A-T, right? The spelling of cat is C-A-T. But today, I'm yeah, of course. we are not learning C-A-T. We are learning C-A-I. C for commutative property. A is associative property. And I is identity property. And these all properties are of addition. These all properties are of addition. The first one, commutative property of addition. Second one, associative, associative. Associative means somebody coming in between us. Associative property of addition. And I is identity property of addition. I is identity. Please, can you again? Commutative. Commutative. Associative. Identity. Identity. One by one, come on. Let me say your names and you will just read three, three quickly. I don't have much of my time here. Okay. Tala, start with you. Yes, um, as you come, commutative, association, and associative, associative, and what's the last one? Identity. Identity, associative. And no, 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 no. Just say identity. Commutative, identity. associative, and identity. Next, Jenna. Please be quick. Yes. Come on, tell me the name. C Commu I. Identity. Great. As 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 you so associative. Associative. Mario. Yes. Can you say me? Communitive associate associate. It's not communitive. It's not communitive. It is commutative. Communitative. Associate. Um, associative. Associative. 
and identity. Jood Fahad? Yes. yes. Please, you need to be fast. Commutative. This is so hard. Commutative, association, and digitative. Identity. Do you know? Oh, identity. Commutative. Ah, Tana, Tana, please give a chance to others, my sweetheart. You know? Okay. Pedos? Communicate to... Yes? Come on, Mariana, Judy. Where are you all? Pedos, come on. Commutative? So um, um, uh, associative and associative associated identity. Okay, very good. Girls, associated identity. Very good. Now listen to me, girls. When I say commutative property of addition, remember it's like it's like mirror. Three plus two is two plus three. That's same. That means any number. If I say five plus two, that is equals to two plus five. If I say thousand plus one, that is equal to one plus thousand. Only ask what you say opposite. Okay? That means commutative. Twelve plus seven is equals to Seven plus two. This is called as commutative. Can you see here how commutative means twelve plus seven equals seven plus ten. Seven. Next, associative property of addition. See three numbers: five plus eight plus fourteen equals five plus eight plus fourteen. What is the difference between both? Only the the grouping. How they group each other, that is different. How they group each other, that is different. See, 8 plus 14, they put the brackets here. For 5 plus 8, they put the bracket first. This is called associated. The last one, identity. When the word identity comes, remember your answer must be same. When the word identity comes. Yes, I didn't understand. Listen to me first. When I say identity, you must get the same number, like 12 plus zero, what is it? Oh. Yes, Tala? Zero. Plus zero, 12. 100 plus zero, what is it? 100. So that means identity, they are, they are same. If you add a zero, you will get the same answer. This property is called as identity. When I say commutative, that means, remember it's a mirror. 3 plus 2 equals 2 plus 3. Any number if I say. If I say write the commutative property for 80 and 100. So you write 100 plus 80 equals 80 plus 100. Is this not easy? Very easy. Yeah. No, it got easy. harder. Listen, Tala. You know the opposite? 12 plus 7 equals 7 plus 12. What is hard in this? Tell me. Wait, 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 let me just, um, can you tell me again so I could like, um, just, um, know it again, again, again? Commutative property, you will remember, these are opposites. 3 plus 2 equal 2 plus 3. Any number, if I give you two. Oh, you switch the numbers? Any numbers, switch the numbers, only switch them, that's it. Oh, it's easy. And believe me, and believe math, that they have to be same. If I say you 3 plus 2, you will say me, it's same as 2 plus 3. Am I correct? Yeah. Because 3 plus 2 gives you 5, and 2 plus 3 gives you 5 also. They are equal. They are equal. Next. Identity, you will just add a zero 
and you get the same number. Okay? All right? Okay. Okay, associate, see how she says. Once again, let her say. Properties of addition. Commutative property of addition. If the order of add-ends changes, the sum stays the same. Associative property of addition. If the grouping of add-ends changes, the sum stays the same. Properties I'm, of addition. I'm just turning Commutative the, property the, of addition. If the I'm, properties of addition. Commutative working. property of addition. If the order of add-ends changes, the sum stays the same. Properties of addition. Commutative property of addition. If the order of add-ends changes, the sum stays the same. Associative property of addition. If the grouping of add-ends changes, the sum stays the same. Identity property of addition. The sum of any number and zero is that number. Clear now? Got it? Yeah. Okay. Now let us solve this one. All right. 24, they're asking you to do associated property. Okay? See. The table shows the number of bones in several parts of the human body. What is the total number of bones in the ribs, the skull, and the spine? The ribs have 24 bones, the ankle has 7, the skull has 28, the spine has 26. Use commutative property. When I say commute, sorry, commutative and associative. When I say commutative, you just switch the numbers. 24 plus 28 becomes 28 plus, what should I write here? Just switch. 24. 4 plus 28 gets 28 plus 24. Very good. This is called which property? It's kind of getting easier and easier. Yes. 24 plus 8, 28 gives me 28 plus same. This is commutative property. When I go to S26, I just need to, Yes. And then you need to add 24 and 26. Who will add and tell me quickly? Who's going to add and say me? 24 and 26. Girls, you need to be there. 50. How much? 50. Very good. It is 30. And then next, because you know that always you need to no, add the one which is, is it, is it 30? I don't think so. No, I said 50. Very good. 50. Correct. Now I have added the one in the group. I added the one in the group. Now I can add both. When I add both, I get 78. Am I correct? Am I correct? Yes, 78. So there are 78 bones in the ribs, the skull, and oh. the spine. No, so was this the first nice. one? This, the first one was which property? It was commutative. Commutative, and this is was association, right? Associative, yes. I write that. Associate. Okay. Please finish that page. Complete it, guys. Miss, I finish. Very good. How about others? All of you, did you finish? No. Yes. Can I erase it and go to my next page? No, 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 no wait. Yes. yes. No, wait, just a minute. Please be very fast. Okay, finished. Good. Others, are you writing? I'm still not done. Miss, I finished. Come on. I finished. Great. Good girls. Next page. Okay. Now I'm I'm the cashier. 
Okay, this is distributed property. Okay, I will explain you distributed property now. See, distributive property, I will explain you. Distributive means it comes in multiplication goods. Multiplying a sum by a number is the same as multiplying each addend by the number and then adding the product. See, if you have a question like this, if you have a question, better I show you on my book. Wait a minute. One minute, guys. I'll give you an example here on my book. Oh, 50. I will explain you on the book, girls, because this is better, because it's not that easy. This is a new property of multiplication. It is called as distributive. Oh, 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 oh. what am I doing? Distributive. Is this minutes. lesson easy? I will explain you and it will become easy. Don't worry, okay? After I explain you, it will be easy. Hopefully. Inshallah, don't panic. Are we going to take this lesson also on Sunday? Yes. I cannot finish it in one day and just rush and let you not understand anything. No, that's not correct. Okay. No. I'm just showing you my book. We need to understand. We're not seeing it. Okay, they are better, I think so. Can you see something here? Um, not really. Really? What is this? Let's put it then flip the camera. How many can you Can you see here now? Uh, yes, yes. Yes. Back. Here? What is it? Five times Ten. seven plus seven. nine. Equals. Plus, what is the meaning of distribute? That means we give the other number. Um, distribute means you are giving away. You are, you know, you are giving to everyone, right? Like that. Yes. Yes. The distributive property of multiplication means I need to multiply this five with seven and because this is plus and I need to multiply this five with nine. We could, we could plus uh, nine and seven and then five. With five. See how I do it. Tala, first see how I do it. I take five, multiply by seven. With seven. But this is not it's 35. I'm not, done. I'm not done. No, no, no. Plus five, five multiplied, multiplied by nine. nine. Okay. 35. Okay, girls. 80. Miss, the answer is 80. Leave about, leave about the answer. Now, okay. the question example one you have, eight times 59. Now this 59, how can I split this 59? How 50. can I split eight times, what plus nine? What will I write here? 50, 59. 50, am I correct? 50, the nine is, is by itself. Yes. The nine is here. Okay. Now let me split. Let me split, I have to do eight times 50. Is it only with this number? No. It's also with plus eight times nine. Girls, the second thing you don't understand, please let me know now. Let me say I understand kind of. Anna? I understand. I don't really understand. Who's this? Judy. Judy? See, do you see here eight times 50 plus nine? Yeah. What is my main motive to multiply 8 with 50 and, because it's a plus sign, 8 with 50 and 8 with 9? I write here 8 times 50, 8 times 50, 
plus eight times nine. Understood? Mm -hmm. and I need to multiply eight with 50 plus this plus I copy and eight times nine. Is it clear now? Yeah. Okay, Judy. So now, when I say eight times 50, what do I get? Eight times five is 40, and there is one more zero. Plus, what is eight times nine? Eight times nine, who's gonna say me? Eight. You all are not eight. eight times three books. Eight times nine. Eight times nine. Uh, 72. Very good. Like this. So your answer is 472. This is what? This is page number, page number 18. See this question there? See this question there? Okay, I will, I just put the uh, book page better. But you, you understood what I'm explaining? Yeah. 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 yeah, the distributive property is the easiest until now. Okay. And also the commu the commutative. Okay, Tana. It's so hard to pronounce. I know, right? I know. Why did they call it commutative? Okay, it's okay. That's so weird. Loved it. Now, please, you all can. Write this, write this. Come on, guys. This is your page number. Yeah. Try to complete this. Page number 18, try to complete this. I explained you with the book. On my book, I explained you about the, uh, this question. Same thing, 59, I can also write a 60 minus one. And same thing, 80 times 60 minus eight times one. Eight to 60 and eight to one, just minus sign. But you get the same answer. Miss page 19? Hmm. 18, oh, 18. page 18. Um, let's see here. What are now, girls, if I say 23 times 1, 23, I get the same answer. Which identity? It's an identity property of multiplication. Oh, my God. What did I just do? You like that? Same way, girls. Commutative property is the flip. Just flip it. 47 times 15 gives you 15 times 47. Miss, do you write that? Don't write something which is down here. Just write till multiplication. Don't write. Yeah. Okay. I will strike it off. I'll strike it off. I'm going to write the numbers on my grandma. Don't write this. Okay. Girls, please be quick. We just. Three minutes. We, we just write Miss example I one. one. Miss, we just write example one, right? And another way, right? Huh. huh. We, we don't write example two. You need to write example two, 23 times one. You need to write that. Till here, commutative property of multiplication, identity property of multiplication. You need to write that. There's three minutes, so please be quick. I have another class at grade seven. Okay, I'm going to try as quick as you can. 